we're going back in time. We got into a time capsule and we went back 18 years looking at the shit we looked at 18 years ago. Why? Because there's all the deal out there. So, beautiful project, 200 hotel rooms, and it's in f***ed up shape. This episode of Life for Sale is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. I talk about real estate investing on the channel, but sometimes you need to invest in yourself and your personal growth. I need to learn how to make real estate pictures. I'm about to list a $12 million mansion, so I took Greg Gottfield's class, Real Estate Photography, How to Get Started. We learned about angles, lighting, staging, and the best practices in real estate photography. Have a specific skill you're trying to learn? Skillshare is perfect place to start. From business, real estate, cooking, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. The first 1,000 people to use my link will get one month free trial of Skillshare. All right, here we are. Where are we going? We're going to Orlando. Why? Because we found a possible deal. We're gonna go look at a hotel. There's almost 200 rooms there. Are we gonna turn it back into a hotel? Are we gonna try to convert it to apartments? I don't know. He's gonna figure it out. We're bringing you guys with us. So we need 25,000 likes. Hit the button, do it now. Oh, I have a call. John Freitag, I don't know who the fuck you are. Probably come here and do a lot of these. If we can, if we make one work, we can make them all work. Tony Unigard is here because he is our certified. We certified him as a project manager, coordinator. Anything we need done, Tony is going to get it done. Talk to the city, look at the layouts, work with contractors. He's a one-stop shop. Kind of like the dollar store. It's not breaking and entering if you don't break anything. We're going back in time. We got into a time capsule and we went back 18 years looking at the shit we looked at 18 years ago. Why? Because there's all the fucking deal out there. So, beautiful project, 200 hotel rooms, and it's in fucked up shape. So this is a 200 unit hotel that was built in 1973, and they're probably looking for way too much, and we're gonna probably come in and pay the minimum as possible. When we got there, we met a guy that's gonna give us a tour. This guy's been familiar with this place for many, many years. What did you do here? That was the maintenance. Oh. The last time it was occupied was um, December 2010. This hotel has not really been in any kind of operation for many, many years. Back 10 years ago, the economy was bad. They built a bunch of new shit in Orlando, so all these old style hotels got crushed because all the new guys came in and built all this new shit. The old guys get clobbered. It looks like somebody already had an idea to come in here, reconfigure the rooms to make them more of a long stay. They know what we can and can't do, Tony. He said this was what they were gonna do. This was plans that they had developed when they tore down that. All those plans cost big money. Now we have to find out if it's feasible to do it. They didn't have the balls to do it, but maybe Ben Jr. does. So, concrete? No. Sides on the ceiling. Ceiling's concrete? Concrete. That's good. The roof is completely messed up. What about the wet wall? The back walls? So the back walls are framed, you can see in there. <laughs> it's framed though, right? Frame and concrete, it looks like. Because you know my idea was to go through. Which you can do. Well, right. 
Well, 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 we were the, we had the idea before. Uh -huh. We tried one of the room. The only problem is inside certain point, you got so many pipes. I know. And you have to raise the pipe and top. But if you're getting all new, and you're doing all new basically electrical, because you might want to individual meter it. You're not going to individual meter this place. Let's just put it all on paper and look at it, because you got to understand, curb appeal, you know. Affordable housing for seniors. What if you don't want to go for it? What if you get a little bit more? Do a couple and try. If we turn this into anything, it's going to be affordable. You know, reasonable price. It ain't going to be high end. Nobody said high end, just normal. People need a decent place to live. put in the sink, refrigerator, they put in a microwave, but they did not put in a stove. This is nice. This is nice. He says it's nice like he's gonna move. This is, this is, this is, this is nice idea. to him. This is my it sounds idea. like he's ready to move in. Why am I excited about this apartment? This is a beautiful one bedroom apartment, okay? This can rent for sixteen to eighteen hundred dollars a month with utilities, water, sewer, garbage, electricity, cable, internet, maybe two grand a month. You give me a hundred of these, I can do two hundred thousand dollars a month out of this place, which means I can make a hundred and twenty-five in NOI, which means I could do one point two million a year. How many rooms are in non-livable condition. Oh, oh. I, told I mean, this is livable. Yeah, 60% of the... 60% of the rooms are in non-livable condition. When we bought Sunrise, I moved into a room like this next to a room like that and like that. Uh, Outrigger had two condemned buildings like that. A tree growing through the roof. Yeah, like this one? Oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit. The tree fell. It fell on the roof. Yeah, that's Federal Pacific. This not even exists. Because it's not insurable. No, absolutely not. Can you just rip out the panels, put the brake panels in? As long as it's copper. The problem with these hotels are, they are master meters. And when you typically rent a unit out to somebody, you make them pay their own electric bill. In this case, you can't. To rewire that entire place with individual meters, we did it one time, but it was a lot easier in Texas because it was already set up for meters just to be popped in. In this case, you'd have to rewire the whole goddamn place. So it's best just to put the place back together the way it was, fix everything, and just include the utilities in the rent as a utility fee on top of the rent. I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to do this. With no panels in the rooms, it'd be very difficult. I'm gonna have to put panels Leave it at a hotel, rent it out monthly, call we it a day. It. Pay the sales tax. Some electricians say that it has to run pipes outside the corridors. See, this is what we had. This is your main panels coming in. That's your main feed. We got a problem, Tony. Yeah, they're aluminum feeds from the mains. So that's why you don't wanna start, you know. That's the problem. They're aluminum feeds. Somebody, somebody was super cheap and decided to save money that way because that's the most expensive copper, you know, that thick stuff. Damn it. Back when they used to build these things, they used aluminum wiring or a combination of aluminum and copper. Aluminum is not recognized in the industry any longer. Insurance companies don't like them and basically we'll have to come in there and wherever we can access aluminum, rip it out and replace it with copper wiring. Somebody tried to steal the aluminum wire so they pulled all the aluminum wire out of the ground and it's all sitting right there ready to be stolen. Now you missed what he just said too. In the three sections of rooms they broke in and stole all the copper plumbing out of the rooms. The worst of the worst. I love the worst. This is not bad enough. This is too nice. Watch out for that shit right there. I need two masks for this place. That's what I like to see. Replace the sheetrock. This is lovely. Welcome to Studio City, where you could have a studio for starting at low as $7.99 a month. This the worst you got? A lot of them like this. I mean, that's pretty bad. They're all just variations of that. Oh, I like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the framed up version of what I just saw. Yeah, nice roof leak too. 
<laughs> Look at that bucket. <laughs> you know, that's the, that's the good thing about it is we don't have to do this to every room. We can do some studios, we do some ones, on the ones that we can do it to, so I like it. What do you think? We think we could save this? You guys see trash and, and messed up. All I see is beauty. I see a dog park. I see, I see beautiful uh, railings. I see quality apartment. Oh, look at this. This is my apartment. This is where I'll be staying. This is the original room back in the time. We got power. Hey, hey. The tub is good. The tile surround is good. This is the way the place used to look when he got here. Yeah. That's him and that's his family. Me, actually. <laughs> that's him and his family in this place. And now look what he's done to it. I'm gonna tell you right now, the sewer system on this place is fucked up. Tell me iron. one thing about this place that ain't fucked up. This place is on the verge of needing a bulldozer. That's what it needs right now. 99 out of 100 people would come here, except us or Ben, and say, you know what? Tear this motherfucker down. That's what a normal person would say by looking at a place like this. And we can accomplish it too. That's the difference. I'm telling you. I don't think Vincent will be very happy here. Vincent, my ass. I'm buying a trailer and I'm moving in right here, okay? In a camper, an Bullshit. RV. Bullshit. And I will go to and from this place every couple days and stay here for a couple days and go back home on the weekends no, and come no, here and no, go back. No. And who's gonna run the company? I don't know, oh, yeah, but I need a project. Yeah, need I'm good. dying for a project like this. Well, here's your project manager right here. This is a security suite, he said. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, I like this. I like this. This is what this whole place could be. After looking at this place, they have done it a couple different ways. They did my pass-through idea, they've done the side-to-side, -side, but I like this floor plan the best. This side-to-side, -side, it's just a lot less construction, it's a lot less moving things, it's great. I mean, washer and dryer, stove, dishwasher, cabinet space, this is perfect. I can rent this apartment for probably 1,800 bucks a month with all utilities included. They got rooms that are already adjoining, so basically, all we have to do is knock out bathrooms to 100 rooms. These rooms right here are Done. We don't need to do anything to them except for put nicer vanities in them, new toilets, you know, make sure all this looks pretty and good, and then it's done, okay? And then into the kitchen area, we knock out the bathroom that was over here, put in the kitchen, put in the sink, put in all these appliances, put in this middle thing, and you're done. This style could probably run 15 grand a room once you're all said and done. And I mean 15 times 100, not times 200, only a hundred. You're talking a million and a half dollars, we could renovate this place and turn it into apartments. It's not counting the outside, it's not counting the doors, it's not counting the windows, but just for the rooms, to turn this in, you're probably talking a million and a half. Then you probably got another million and a half on the outside. Hey, Tony, right now, we buy this place, we give it to you and say, here, turn this place into new. How much? Probably five million. Five million? Write him a check. I said three. How long did it take you? How much are you taking? Two million in profit on that? I only said you three. You and I were going to split that. Oh, yeah, a million uh, each. Only now. doing side deals. <laughs>
and see if the deal makes sense. But the first thing we gotta do is find out how cheap we can buy it. What's this guy willing to walk away with? He'd be lucky to walk away with nothing if I was him because it ain't nothing right now. It's a blight on his portfolio right now. If you want to go out and look at some big, tough project like this, go to benmallon.com slash shop. Consult with Ben. You want to talk about real estate? Get me on the phone. On the way back to the airport, we saw somebody else doing the same type of project. So we went in and took a peek. He wants to make that place, Rafa, look like this place. <laughs> This is what he wants to do with what we just looked at. Oh shit, they put they gutted bathrooms. I know, we should just get these contractors' numbers, Dad. We can do it. Look at that. These are the studios. But what'd they do in there? Oh, can I get out? Yeah, get out. This is the kitchen. They took this open, they popped this open. They're making a kitchen right here, closet, bathroom. There's a panel right here on the wall. He's right. There is enough room to put a bed right here and be done. I am too old for this shit. So they had to bring the whole thing up to go then. They ripped every inch of this place's new sheet. Yes, are. yes. Look, kitchen. Too big. It's perfect. Big. All right, get out of here. You can do a Murphy bed. He's coming. Come on, Rafal. They're already renting it. It says leasing. It's a, uh, one bedroom, one bath, 360 square feet, 995 to 1,020. Now look, right here, this is where they did the back-to-back. Uh, yeah, 1,450 to 1,400 a month. Done. So actually, you're right. It's better to get a whole bunch of 1,000. All right, so that was a couple of weeks ago. Ben's still trying to negotiate a, a good price. He's talking to the forces to be on what we can do with the place and he's doing his homework. So stay tuned and we'll see if we do the deal. Subscribe, watch another video, hit the like button. Listen, we need to get 500,000 subscribers. We're about 50,000 away. All you gotta do is get us those subscribers. We're nothing unless you have a half a million subscribers. So it's up to you to take us from nothing to something. Adios, amigos.